So let's start by placing a cluster shell and then let's place a few objects inside the cluster. Three are enough. Let's reorder the uh, auto sizing to vertical so it looks nice. Let's make a type def and then open type def and let's save it. So if we place a, an instance of a cluster type definition or cluster strict type definition on a front panel, we can use the bundle by name. and the unbundle by name functions on the block diagram to access the elements of the cluster. Unlike the So unlike the uh, bundle functions and the unbundle function which reference cluster elements by cluster order, the bundle by name function and unbundle by name function reference elements of the cluster by name. Therefore, reordering the elements or adding new elements to the cluster type definition or cluster strict type definition does not break the VI. If uh, let's say we are using this And now let's delete this numeric. Then the VI is broken. So if we delete an element from the cluster type definition or cluster strict type definition via to the bundle by name function or the unbundle by name function, we must change the block diagram because the reference to the missing element becomes invalid. As you can see here, Invalid names in the bundle by name function and the unbundle by name function appear black like this numeric. It is, it is black. 
We can click the bundle by name function or the unbundle by name function to display a list of valid names from which to select. Then we have to just change the, fix the inputs, string to string. When we create references to controls in a cluster type definition or cluster strict type definition, the lab view uses the cluster order to determine which controls the reference point to in the cluster. Because of this behavior, if we delete a control from the cluster type definition or cluster strict type definition, the remaining reference that points to the deleted control may now point to a different control in the cluster. So for example, we have this uh, reference to a Boolean control present in the cluster. So let's add it and let's replace it with let's say a numeric. So if you go to block diagram, we can see that the boolean has now changed to numeric. And if we were using this reference, then the code would become at most invalid or it would behave differently. So if we delete a control in a cluster type definition or cluster strict type definition, we should make sure that each reference still points to the correct control in the cluster. So in, in addition to removing the control from the front panel, we should ensure that the block diagram code associated with the deleted control is now pointing to the right control or is removed 